What is up Shark Army, it's me Game Shark, and welcome to the One Year Museum Challenge. This is episode 9 and we're going to get cracked on and carry on where we got to in the last episode. It is the 28th of spring, it is Sunday, which means this episode we are going to finally leave spring behind and go into the summer season, which things are going to start getting interesting and changing for us. But first, let's get spring over and done with, let's just finish everything we can today. We're going to check the look, hopefully we've got some good luck, and there we go, we've got a little extra luck today, because last episode was terrible, we had three bad luck days in a row. Of course, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow, because it is summer. It's actually a really nice day today in England as well, the the sun is shining. I really, really am enjoying this weather that we're having lately. So obviously we can't plant no crops. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's the coffee bean that can get planted in spring and summer. So we need to give that a water. I'm gonna quickly just fill up this watering can ready for summer. Check the farm and the quarry to see if we can find any chests. Of course, we need to find all the artifacts, the minerals within the first year. If you guys just randomly bumped into this video, I'd recommend you go back and watch the other episodes. There's a link to the playlist down below in the description. Binge watch them all and then come back and watch this if you are new here. Okay, so what's the plans of action for today, guys? It's good luck, so I think going mining could be very useful today. We can also go and upgrade another tool. We have got 18,000 gold. I'm thinking of doing the hoe. I've got five copper bars, it's cheap. And then once the hoe's done, we can upgrade the pickaxe and the axe again to the iron stage. That means we can get into the secret woods and mining is gonna be a lot better. So let's go and do the hoe first. I mean, this is gonna help a lot by tilling over the soil in the mines. We've got nothing to donate. We did it all in the last episode, so we need to start finding some new stuff. Now, I've got any more iron that we can smelt, because iron bars is going to be what we need for the next lot of tools so I'll put two of those on and we'll just keep going ahead and doing that every time that we can so okay no fishing today we're not going to need the axe I'm gonna go and take the iron edge sword and the copper pickaxe with us and the hoe of course in case we find any worms damn if we upgrade the hoe that means we're not gonna be able to get any worms it's gonna be tough let's do some foraging first let's see if we can find any worms and then once I know that there's nothing else around then we'll go ahead and donate it and then tomorrow we're gonna have to basically not find any worms which is gonna be quite sad especially for there's quite a lot for tomorrow but we'll have to give that a skip and we'll do some fishing or something tomorrow then we can get our hoe back so on the quarry we've got a geode again I mean these are perfect I'm happy to find geodes if we can find geodes every day, that's going to make my life a lot easier because that is where we're going to, go to find most of our minerals. So I can't see nothing else around. So one thing I'm going to do is do some foraging first. Like I said, we'll go down here. We'll see if we can find anything and then uh, we'll work our way up to Clint's and upgrade the, the hoe. So let's see if we can find anything before we head there. I'll take the last lot of spring onions. This is the only time we're going to get these again. Same as the forage items for spring as well. But summer's going to be exciting. I can't wait for that. Got a lot of plans that I want to do for summer. This is Sunday, so we can check the travel lady. I mean, I don't think she's going to give us anything that we need, apart from the rare seed, which we don't really need. Iridium bar, though. That's pretty crazy. 5,000 gold. But yeah, there's nothing there. There was nothing around that area near the forest. So let's go to the beach. Might be able to find something on here today, hopefully. And yes, we do. Look at this. Any more? We've got two chests right next to each other, which is amazing. We'll do those on the way back, but first let's see if there's anything over this side as well. Okay, just a sea urchin. Well, we've got two chests here, or artifact worms, so let's see, guys, if we can find anything. This would be amazing if we could uh, start the episode off with a new artifact. Starting off with the first one. Ah, it's clay. Come on, there's got to be something in here. Ooh! Come on, let's go! We got the dried starfish, which can only be found on the beach, I believe, so... That is awesome! Okay, that's amazing. We can go and donate that to Gunther. We're going that way anyway. We may as well do it. There's no point saving it because we're coming We're coming down this way anyway. But that was a good start. We've got a new artifact that we needed, guys. There's another item I really want on the beach, and that is the glass shards. They can only be found on the beach as well. So we need to keep trying to look on there. We've actually got a geode as well. Shall we donate? Shall we process that whilst we're here? I mean, we could do. It's a good little day, so why not? <clears throat> okay. Forget I said anything. Okay, so we're going to upgrade the hoe right now. I had a good look around town and stuff as well. I can't really see any more worms. Um, hopefully there's none right up in the mines area. But let's, I want this upgraded because it's going to come in handy. So let's go ahead and do that. It's going to make my life a lot easier. Now let's go and donate this uh, dried starfish or sunfish. And we'll go ahead and put you down here. There we go. So another one done. Love it. It's coming along nicely, guys. Look at that. Now, I'm not sure if we found all of the books yet, but like I said, when you find all of the books, 
you do get a little bonus to the fishing chests there's a higher chance you'll find artifacts and you'll find more treasure chests so that's going to be good if we do get all the books i'm not sure if we have got them all or not though i'm going to read all of these we literally might have them all so fishing might come in handy uh we'll see we'll see oh no no there's still a book missing here okay seems like we've still got a few missing then i lied okay so let's just head up to the mines and we'll spend the rest of the day just up there and see if we can find anything obviously we can't till over any soil so it's just literally going to be processing down and also finding some minerals and stuff like that or maybe killing some enemies and getting some drops i've not come across or bumped into any more chests or worms so luckily we upgraded the hoe at the right time let's go mining we're on floor 55 which is insane let's hopefully get some monster drops today just not sap and slime please there's the ladder but i'm gonna kill these dust sprites it might drop us something oh another coffee bean that's pretty good and we've got a frozen geode as well. Awesome. Let's get down. That wasn't a bad floor. Got some more iron, which is going to come in handy. Oh, there's a ladder straight away. I don't mind hitting some rocks, though, because we've got loads of food items on us and stamina. I want to find some geodes. The frozen ones on these floors are really good. Especially them ones, the omni geodes. It's exactly what we're looking for, guys. And with good luck, this is okay to do. I'm not going to hit every single rock, but I will hit a few. And kill some bats. Oh, look at this. A frozen tear. I only just saw that. There's another one here too. Not bad, not bad. So now we are on a floor 57. Just found quartz. Which we've already donated before, so we don't need that. Oh, we've got some ghosts here. Okay. A few enemies here right now. Come on, give us something that we need. Drop us something. Solar essence. Some of these enemies can drop artifacts. I've just not had any yet. I don't think we've had one enemy that has. That is a crystal fruit. And a frozen tear. They're actually dropping some stuff today. I feel like this is a good look day. Right, I'm going to eat some stuff up, like this horseradish. Save some space in the inventory, and also give us a little bit more stamina and health back. I'm going to kill all of these enemies up here. Wow, quite a few. Oh, a winter root. Okay, okay, we're getting a few drops now, guys. This is interesting. Never normally seen monsters drop things for us up until now. It's a shame I didn't have my hoe, because I could do with digging all of this up. We might find some stuff doing that. Come on then, bat. Nope, just bat wings. I'm going to go down here, see some more enemies. We need to kill these. There's just one dust sprite. We never know what we're going to get. So let's head further down. We're on 58 now, and it's 7.30pm. Keep an eye on that time. Anything in there? Nope. Nothing from the enemies. Let's get the iron. Hopefully try and find the ladder as well. There it is. Got such good luck today. Let's get the coal. Make sure there's nothing else around. We've got another frozen tier right there. Some more iron up here that I want as well. Just see if we can find any geodes before we get down. There we go. That's what I wanted. The frozen geodes. Always hit a few rocks whilst I can. Now we're on 59. And there's the ladder straight away to get to 60. Perfect. Let's see if we can find anything on this floor though before we get down. And then we can head home. It is 9.30pm. So we've got enough time to get down to the bottom of here. Get to the ladder. Get to 60. And go home. Another frozen geode. Got quite a few of them now. Is that four? I want all those barrels. We might be able to find something in there. Come on. Oh, what's this? Got two things here that we can hit. I think one's an aquamarine. And the other one is a diamond. Woohoo! What a find. Now, Gunther can tell us more about that as well. So that is a new mineral that we've found. We've already got the aquamarine, the frozen tea, and the quartz. But that's not bad. Okay, let's quickly, because the time's getting uh, late now. Let's hit all these and hopefully can find something. Oh, look at that. So many jades. We've got the uh, the forest sword as well. 8 18 damage. It's not too bad. It gives us some good speed. And there we go. That day is done. Just sold a few duplicate minerals and stuff that we had. The sea urchin and the crystal fruit. So it made us 1,600. It's not too bad. And now we're on the first day of summer, guys. This is exciting. Spring has finished. Now I've got two swords here that I don't want. We can go ahead and sell them today, I think, when we go up to the mines. Let's check the look. We've got a little extra look, which is nice. We're going to, going to need it. Every little helps. Now, we've got a lot of clearing up to do as well on the farm. We're going to go and get some seeds as well. And we're going to do some fishing today. In fact, we can't plant any seeds today because... We've not got the hoe, so um, we'll do that tomorrow when we go and pick it up. But I will go and get the seeds today, you know, over and done with, get them stocked up ready. We've also got some melon seeds, five mixed seeds, and a star fruit that we can um, get for summer, which is nice. I've got another coffee bean as well that I can plant. You know what? We can probably plant that now whilst we can. 
I water these two coffee beans and now let's clear up some of the farm. We'll check the farm, see if we can find anything as well. Any geodes on the quarry. Obviously we can't do the worms today. We've got a lot of clearing up to do though. So this is going to be good to do. It's going to clear some space. Obviously so some artifact worms can uh, appear. The more the farm is cleared, the better we'll find more artifacts. So let's go just spend a few hours on the farm today and clear up. Oh, there's a chest right there. And I can't get it. Great. Lovely. That feels good. Okay, so we have just cleared a lot of farm up really. We've got some good resources too, which was very much needed. So it was actually worth doing that. So I'm going to put some tools away that we're not going to use today. Uh, like I said, we're not going to go mining today, I don't think. I'm just going to do a little bit of fishing, mix things up a little bit. I've got two swords to sell as well, which we'll go ahead and do. And I need to eat and drink something because look at our energy. So let's head to Piers, buy some seeds, and then go fishing. Okay, energy is basically back up to the top now. Perfect. Nothing some cave carrots can't sort out. Let's go. I'm going to sell them swords today as well. Can't remember if I mentioned that already. I'm hoping I don't bump into a lot of uh, artifact worms today because we've not got the hoe till tomorrow and I think they'll disappear by then. If there's already one on the farm, let's see if that's there tomorrow. That'll be interesting to see. Got to go fishing up and underneath the mines today, I think. I've not been up there in a long time and it's actually a good fishing spot. Okay, let's go to Piers. May as well sell these sweet peas whilst we can. Okay, so... The best way to make money on this game in summer, or one of the best ways, if you haven't got like kegs and stuff like that, is definitely blueberry seeds. Blueberries are amazing, so I might spend the whole money on those. But I've actually got a mod in this, which I've had for a while, which gives us a few new crops as well. Which gives us onions, pineapples and watermelons, which uh, could be good. It only gives us like nine new crops in the game. I think it's free for each season. Free for spring, summer and fall. Um, and just for this series, we might spice things up and do something a little bit different. I might get a few onion seeds, just, just to see why not. They only take five days, so it's pretty good. And I might get some watermelons as well. They will take 14 days and they keep reproducing after that. So let's get a few watermelons. I mean, it is summer after all. And then I might just spend the rest on blueberry seeds, guys. Because these are pretty good. 13 days, but they do keep reproducing also. But the watermelons and blueberries are going to take quite a bit of time. So I want something in between to keep us going with the farming. That's why I bought the onions. And I think I might get a few radish as well. I'm going to get a lot of farming done this season. And there we go, guys. I have spent the whole lot of money. Now, you're probably thinking, what the hell are you doing that for? And it's going to come in handy. Trust me, because when these blueberries and watermelons and all these seeds start coming up, the money is going to be going in, getting increased rather fast. And with that money, I'm going to spend it on Joja to get the bundle, such as the desert, you know, the bus repair. I want to get over there. And in order to do that, we need big money. We still didn't have enough. That 18000 that we had couldn't get anything that we needed. We need to invest invest this into something else which is going to increase profit and those blueberries is going to do that for us so we can't plant them today which is sad because of the hoe we can do that tomorrow so what i'm going to do is go back to the farm keep these seeds all nice and safe and then we'll go up to and do a bit of fishing that's going to increase our money for today as well so it's not a big massive hit tomorrow we'll do the farming which i'm excited about because i know this money is going to be good and it's good to see these new crops as well the watermelons which aren't actually in the game uh in the vanilla game but this is my playthrough i can do what i like so getting a few new crops why not i'm going to keep the seeds just in here for now because we've got no space for anything along with the other seeds we've got we've got nine melon seeds we've got a few mixed seeds and a star fruit as well plus two coffee beans um i really want to craft the kegs but we don't have them yet but we have got some preserved jars that i'm going to make because then we can start making jelly maybe even like watermelon jelly and stuff which is going to be good sure we haven't got the kegs for the wine but let's do a few preserved jars as well 50 wood and 40 stone so wood stone and coal now we've run out of wood already do we actually not have much wood? No, we didn't have much wood at all, did we? So we can only make two of those for now, which is uh, not good. I'm going to keep these just here. And already I'm going to start making some salmon berry jam whilst we're waiting for some good stuff. Uh, I need some wood, guys. Really bad. But let's go fishing first. We're going to sell these two swords as well. Why not? Let's go this way this time. We're starting to get somewhere. I feel like it, you know? Making investments for the future. And I'm focusing on money in summer. Summer is going to be money. And then when it gets to fall, with all the money we've got, we can start getting to the desert. We can start unlocking the quarries. And then we're going to have fall and winter to try and find as many artifacts as we can. Okay, so here we are. First things first, let's sell these. 250 and 200. I don't want those. I've already got the Iron Edge. And it's actually quite a good good weapon i would like to buy the templar's blade uh, it's got good damage gives us a bit of defense but i got the money for that now so let's do a bit of fishing let's increase this money guys let's increase it 
I'm going to go fishing here. This is one of my favourite spots. I really like it. The next time we do fishing, we'll mix things up. We'll probably go underneath Leah's house. I know that's quite a good place. And we can even go to the beach one time and see if we can find anything different. Is the first fish going to be a treasure chest? Nope. The tradition is normally the first cast is the first chest, but not today. We've got a rubbish cart. But I'll keep you posted. We might not find anything tonight. And if we don't, I'll see you in the morning on the second day of spring and we'll start farming. But for now, let's just see if we can find anything, get as much fish as I can, and hopefully find an artifact or a mineral in one of these. Got some new fish this season too, one of them being the rainbow trout, which is not bad. Oh my god, I just missed a very good fish and also a chest because the fish was just too strong, I couldn't catch it. That's the first chest I've seen since doing this fishing, it's half past six, and that was a hard fish, I don't know what that would have been, damn it. There's that fish again. I don't know what this is. I want to try and catch it just to see. Can't remember. I've not really done fishing in summer in a long time. So I'm not sure what fish this could be. I'm guessing like, I think, is it a pike? No, I don't think you can catch those up here. Come on, be something good. Oh no, don't, don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. Don't mess me up. Wow, what is this fish? I'm not that bad at fishing on this game. Compared to, I know a lot of people have problems. But this is even tricky for me. There we go. Oh, it was the sturgeon, of course. I thought you had to get that in the rain. That was a tricky fish, but we got it, we got it. It's gonna be some good money. Hopefully it was gold as well, because this is a prime fishing spot, which means gold quality fish. As you can see, we're getting a lot of gold fish. Every fish we get from here is gold. These ones I caught in this section here because we had some bubbles, and you can tell. They're rubbish quality, but when we come back here, they're all gold again, so this is a very good fishing spot, a prime location. I did actually make a video a long time ago showing you guys the best fishing places to get gold quality fish. There's like four or five or even more prime locations around the map which uh, you'll get gold quality fish every time. So if you want to check out the best fishing locations in the game, go and check out that video. We've had no chests guys since we've been doing this. I missed one but I just couldn't, the fish was just too crazy. It landed on the wrong fish and it's 8pm. We've had no chests and it's a good luck day too. Good news, we're going to make a lot of money. I'm going to fish till 10pm and I think I'm going to head home. Where are the chests? What is going on? We've got good luck today, a little extra luck, this should help. I've seen one the whole day and I couldn't even get a chance to get to the chest because the fish was too stupid. When these bubbles are gone or if it gets to like too late, I'm just going to head home. And here we go, level 4 foraging. We've got the charcoal kilns now. Uh, we get plus one wild berry harvesting, and our axe gets a uh, better proficiency. That was the worst night fishing ever, it was draining, but look at the money that we made. 2.4k just from fishing. The gold sturgeon sold for 375. So that's 2.6k for the day, not too bad, it's a good way to increase that money as well. No artifacts or minerals though. So today is the last day guys of this episode. The day's in our hands, it's a neutral day, so that's not too bad. All we're going to do is farm, okay, we're going to go and get our axe upgrade, plant all the seeds, we're going to have no energy, I might just do fishing again, we're going to be too tired, and it's going to get too late to even do any mining today so i think what we're gonna do is just farm and then yeah do some fishing at the night time again but in a different location this time the other thing about this farm layout is you don't have much farm space as you can see i don't know where i'm gonna get all these seeds to go um i might have to plant a few here and the blueberries i might make a specific place for them which is going to be up here this is going to be some blueberries up here or even the watermelons we'll see but we're gonna have to farm everywhere else around here oh the chest is still there that is cool okay let's go and get the hoe okay well, i've just done a full loop around hoping to see any worms so i know where about to go to be for today can't see any there's just that one on the farm for now might quickly check the beach to see if there's anything there as well so far summer is not looking great is it but here's the hoe this is going to be good we can till three squares at a time now which is going to help farming and go mining to till over the soil a lot easier Oh, look at this. Hey, hey, we bumped into one. Let's go. Another book. I'm glad. I'm glad we got that. It's going to make fishing a lot better. I don't know if that's everything complete, but it's another book to the collection. So let's go to the beach first before we go farming. We may as well do the tasks around the town today. And look at this. A rainbow shell, a cockle, and an artifact spot. Let's go. Come on. Something good. Oh, my God, Stone. I really thought that was going to be some glass shards or something. Is there anything on this side? Oh, there's actually a chest on this side. I have never seen this before. And it's just freestone. Great. Well, the chests are about today. That's for sure. 
But there's nothing in them. Let's check the one on the farm. Let's see if there's something good in there. And I'll quickly go left underneath Morning's Ranch. See if we can find any down this way as well. And then we're going to spend a lot of time today farming, guys. So there's not going to be much to show you in this day. I'm going to have no stamina as well, that's for sure. I really wanted to fish under here. It's quite a good spot. Oh, yes. Okay, here we go. We've got another one. Oh, oh. Oh, yes, it's a new one. I thought we had it. The prehistoric tool. There you are hiding. I normally find that one quite easy when I'm playing this game normally. And I wonder, I was starting to wonder where that one was. But we've got it. That's another one. That would be two artifacts this episode. Because we found one earlier. The dried starfish or some fish. I forgot what it's called. But that's not bad. That's not bad. Now let's get back to the farm. Okay, let's check the quarry as well for today. I don't think I've been here. Uh, no, we've got a lot of copper on there though. I haven't got my pickaxe on me, but we can go ahead and do that uh, soon. Is there any more around the farm apart from that one? Can't see any. Let's see, guys. Stone. Lovely. We've had a lot of stone today. The stone's taking over. It's not the clay anymore. Damn it. Sure, dog. Okay, we've gone everywhere and I can't see anything, so let's get farming. I'm gonna spend the whole evening and night doing this. Whew, wish me luck, guys. Luckily, I have got a good tool for the job now. I'm literally just going to dig everywhere. Okay, let's see how many seeds this can hold. I'm quickly just gonna put away the prehistoric axe as well and sell all of this good stuff. The space is looking tight. Probably need to upgrade the watering can. I totally forgot about that. Damn it. Okay, here's the seeds. So let's start off with the easy stuff. Such as like the radish and the onions. Because we're going to be tending these quite quickly because they so they don't take so long to grow. There's the new onions in the ground. Got some mixed seeds that I'll put in as well. Got nine melons. I'm going to place these like here. I want to try and get a giant melon out of that. You never know. The star fruit can go there. Got some chili peppers. Okay. We can plant the blueberries here. I'm going to put the watermelons on the other part. We've got a lot more to go. If I keep going this way... Okay, is this going to be enough? I still need to water these yet. Look at the time. I don't have to worry about energy. I've got a lot of stuff to eat. Oh, okay. This is getting tight. I still need more space for these blueberries. Okay, let's get up. Okay, that's all the blueberries done. Um, I might have to do the watermelons tomorrow. I don't know. I'm going to try and do this, guys. I'm going to try and water these and plant the blue uh, the watermelons. And I'll show you when everything's done. And there we go, guys. The day is ended that was a long tedious night i was very close to passing out and it's the second day of summer which would be my birthday in real life if it was in this game so it's day three of summer but i'm not going to play for this day that's going to be the end of the episode there i'm going to quickly show you all of the seeds oh there's an earthquake during the night oh i bet i've lost some seeds already okay so here we go this is all of the seeds going this way lots of blueberries lots of onions and stuff like that and then i managed to sort out the watermelons down here oh there's a chest there that's not going to be till next episode though guys and there's the watermelon seeds that's all the seeds we had. I've got a scarecrow down as well. And yeah, it's raining today. So next episode, we'll play through three more days. Luckily, it's raining, so it's going to help us a lot. I'm going to go and upgrade the watering can. It's going to be much needed. And uh, we'll go and find some more things. But thank you all for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. It really helps the series out more than you imagine. If you guys want to see more, hitting the like button, sharing your friends, dropping comments is going to make me make a lot more episodes out there. Your support on this series makes me want to keep posting them. So thank you very much for all the support on this series. Make sure to subscribe if you're new here. Share it with your friends. And I will see you on episode 10 of the One Year Museum Challenge. Bye-bye, guys.